What did y'all do? How you doing? What happened? Oh, I'm good. Can't play like that. Um, he got bent down in a off-road accident. But I am legal if you want to run it. I got my license and. Got bent in that one. I know, but it's not readable that way. Okay, I understand. You got your driver's license and insurance? Yeah, man, I'm all good if you want to run it. I don't mind. What'd you do, Gus? They're looking at us through the windows. We created a scene. <laughs> he waves at him. You need to bend that license plate back. Okay, yes, sir. Also, I saw y'all driving around all crazy before I pulled y'all over. Where? Don't be weak. I saw y'all weaving in and out of lanes. Okay, all right. Doing that. Yes, sir. Uh, I know y'all are nimble and y'all can do that, but it's too dangerous. No, I got you. Yes, sir. Right. I'm staying in the back of the pack. Yes, sir. Did you hear what I said? Did y'all hear what I said, too? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. All right, don't be Take it easy, man. Yeah, we should get out of downtown. So we're just uh, out of uh, We at G, I think it is. And this lovely officer has pulled me over because he was doing under 50 kilometers an hour. And he's pulled me over because I was following too close to him. That's three seconds, he says. And he's going to find me. Can you believe that? I have ridden over four and a half thousand kilometers. And I have a police officer who wants to write me up for following too close to his vehicle. Even though he's slowed down below 50 kilometers an hour and he's now pulling me over. So we're going to video this. What's going on here? And this is what you call police work at work. Wasting my valuable time. I was doing everything by the law. I wasn't speeding. But because Junior here thinks I was following too close to his motor vehicle, even though he was doing slower speed, he just tracked me. That's all this guy did. And now I've got to go and try and defend it because, as far as I was concerned, he was actually under the speed limit. Thanks for waiting, there's your license back. So you'll receive a penalty notice for following too close to stop safely today. Fine for that is 425 and there's three demerit points on it. 21 days to dispose of it. Any Don't questions? Even talk to me. Don't even talk to me about the argument before. You slide down and you try to get something, right? Exactly what you do. Any questions? Now, run off and go and have a good day and go and make some money from someone else. Ride oh. safely. Ha! <laughs> you say so. Pile of shit. No, no, keep on recording sometime. Four hundred and twenty five dollars. <laughs> Some gravel. Uh, we gotta get out of here. Yeah. Uh, he's already here. What? He's already here. Who? That county guy? Is he a cop? No, he's just a uh, an official. I'm good. 
I've crashed worse than this before. No, everything's code four here. Is everything correct here? I mean, Last name's yeah, I live in Ontario. Oh, I'm sorry. But it is the correct mailing address? Yeah. This is what will happen, is, is I'll give you a written one here, and then okay. in a couple days, one will come that's like a bill. Okay. Okay. You said you can mail it, you can pay on How much is it going to be? It's going to be $100. All right. All right? All right. It's just the, the, the oil cover there, right? Yeah. Okay, that should be easy to fix then. Yeah, it's just a couple bolts. Okay. What up, mommy? Hey, don't tell mom, but I crashed. Okay, gentlemen. Like I said it's a hundred dollar administrative citation. Okay. The record of it is between us. Okay. The payment company. Yeah, the citation press. So, uh, and that's for trespassing on flood control property, i.e., you weren't authorized to have your motorcycles. Are you injured at all? I uh, probably got a little bit of road rash, but that's about it. It's common amongst motorcycle riders. <laughs> I, don't know, I haven't even taken the jacket off to see. Road rash on the other one. Yeah, you got it. <sighs> eh, that ain't bad. Yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah. Did he hit that car? What the fuck is going on? Are you okay? You are drunk, huh? Fuck, dude. This guy's fucking trashed. Can you open the door? Is it in park? Here, step out, buddy. Fuck. Are you alright? Como te amo? Como te amo? Como te amo? Me amo Scotty. Me amo Scotty. Yeah, I got a, uh, I was just driving by, I'm on my motorcycle, and there's a guy, he's heavily intoxicated, he hit a parked car, looks like he was heading home, and, uh, I went ahead and I took, I took the keys away from him, he's, he's passed out right now, yeah? Where? And your name? My name is Scott. Hold on, I transit to San Jose Police. These fucking people, these are the ones that are out here killing us, bikers, dude. He didn't even hit it. Oh yeah, he did hit it pretty hard. That's exactly like what happened to mine. I'll show you guys later, but someone did the same shit to me. Is he injured due to the accident or think something else happened before? I think he's just heavily intoxicated. It doesn't look like a high impact accident. Okay. Hold on. I took the keys he's and everything. He's the only one in the car, right? Yeah, he's the only one in the car. Hey, you alright? I just want to keep checking on him to make sure he's okay. It looks like uh, maybe his relatives showing up right now too. I don't know if they're going to try to get him out of here.
Fire, my cord is at the steamer. Fire, it's PD. It's on your vet 205. My caller is with the party that keeps passing out inside the vehicle. Fire department, can you confirm the location, please? Help's already on the way. Tell me exactly what happened. Uh, I was just right. I was riding my motorcycle past, and I saw that this guy was passed out, and the car was hit. It was hit another car. So I was stopped to check up on him, and he was he was actually awake. Uh, he keeps passing out. I don't know if it was because he's been in the sun. I don't know how long he's been here for. I'm gonna ask you more questions. Are you with the patient now? Yeah. I, I called you guys. This guy's passed out. He, oh yeah. How you doing? Here's his keys, dude. I took the keys from him. When I came, I drove past, and this is what I I rode my motorcycle. This is what I rode past, and I thought it looked kind of weird. So I came back, and he was in the driver's seat, uh, and he was kind of he was awake, but he kept passing out on me. So I I felt a little uneasy. So I called you guys. Man, um, yeah, 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 because I didn't, I didn't want anything else to happen. But he, he's breathing. I guess I'll tell them. But he's breathing real heavy. I, I'll be right back. How you doing? I'm the one that called you guys. He was, yeah, no, I didn't see it. But he was. Pa I'll tell you guys exactly what happened. I rode past. I saw this was weird. I came back around, parked my motorcycle. I came up. He was nodding off, passing in and out. Seat was he in? in the front. So that's what I'm gonna tell you. Then I think his relative, because I think he lives up here, yeah, his relative came. Work. His relative came and I think they were gonna try to take him, but I took the keys and gave them to the officer just now. Hey. I took the keys so they couldn't take off. Um, okay. so but he was breathing super now? heavy. The relative moved him in the back. Where are they Excuse now? Us. Uh, I think it took off and that truck when you came up, that was that truck that took off. Oh, was that right? Yeah. I think he got scared or something. I don't know why. Alright, thank you. Yeah. You guys anything else? No, you're good. Alright. Do you need anything from me? Uh yeah, let me just get your name back. I mean, uh, just in case we need anything. You didn't see the collision though, you just you just ran upon him and saw him here. I, I, I ran upon him. The thing is my camera I always have a recording, so I have our interactions all on recording. Okay, that's good. That's good. I mean, any no, I did not. I, this this is it, what you guys pulled up on. That's what I I came up on okay. with the car just leaning into the next one. And I circled back, and then that's when he was in the driver's seat. And I was like, "Hey, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Any any English?" And he said, "No." And I was like, "Español? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas?" And he was trying to tell me his name, but it was slurred. Um, so then I started getting a little worried because his chest was going real heavy, and I don't know how long he's been in the sun. Could it, could be, well, it might just be medical. We'll find out right now. Just unless you smell out. If we have anything that we, you know, any questions to ask, you, we know, if we need your camera. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Go camera. Never know. Man. Yeah. 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 I appreciate you calling. Yeah, man. man I hope he's all right. Um, yeah, man, you might, you might have probably saved his life. We don't know what's going on. Man, so. Yeah. Cool, man. Will you be safe out okay, there? Thank you, man. I'll let you know. Right here, so I'm cool. It's crazy, dude. I hope this guy's all right, man. That's the sketchy part. Um, he was in the front seat, and then one of his, I think, family members pulled up and tried to try to take off with them, but they realized I had the keys, or they realized the keys were missing, and I didn't tell them I had them in my pocket. When you contact him using the front seat, right? Yeah. When you saw them moving to the. Front. Yeah, I have that all on camera too. Perfect. Hold that camera just in case we need it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Download the video and save it. Yeah. Well, I, um, I have a YouTube channel, so unfortunately it's probably going on YouTube. <laughs> so it'll be there for you guys. <laughs> what, 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 what I catch on YouTube? Scott, whatever. Scotty don't. What's that? Scotty don't. Scotty don't? Yep. D-O-N-T? Yep. <laughs> Easy, right? Hey, Scotty doesn't know. <laughs> Take care, buddy. All right, Scotty,